actually the formula is equivalence will be in grams. You see what I mean? Times valence over atomic weight in grams. But that's equivalence. So then you have to multiply it by a thousand to make it milli equivalent. But you will see some references, they shortcut milli equivalence to show this formula. But your denominator has to be in grams. You get it? Well, so so yes, what makes sense is the equivalence formula. Why? The equivalence formula will be in grams times valence over grams. But if you want the milli equivalent answer, then you have to multiply that by a thousand. Mm -hmm. That's the formula that makes sense to us because remember, it's always apples to apples. But you will see online in textbooks, they shortcut it to like this. You see it? Did you understand what I just explained? If you want to click it, you, if you wanted to click in your head, use the equivalence formula. Ooh. If you wanted to click in your head, use the equivalence formula. But do not forget, that's equivalent. The question was milli equivalent. So for you to make it milli equivalent, you have to multiply it by a thousand. And that's why on books or on the internet, you will find formulas like this. Because what they did, they just shortcut it. The milli equivalent, they have to use the milligrams times the valence or valence over the atomic weight in grams or atomic mass. Did you see? Yes, what's the correct answer then? What's the correct answer? 20. It's this one, 20 MEQ. Take note, milli equivalence is lowercase m, capital E, lowercase k, clear? That's the last, clear? Yeah. Okay, now this may throw you off, but it's a simple problem. Here you go. A patient, try solving this. A patient received, do not overthink. If you overthink, you'll get it wrong. A patient received 20 ml of medication. Okay with a concentration of 15 MEQ per 5 ml. How many milli equivalents did the patient? Do not overthink, that's my 